Hello everyone, Mobra here today. I'm going to show you how to use the new track entity keyframe that was added in the latest version of Flashback. So to begin with, you're going to need the UID of the entity you want to track. Uh, there's a few ways to do this. The easiest way is going to be to right click the entity and then select copy UUID. Let's go ahead and go over here, create a keyframe, uh, paste in the entity UUID here, and let's just hit add. Um, now if we just play this normally, you see it's only going to apply for one tick. So if we want it to apply continuously, uh, we're gonna need to move it like this. Uh, so that it'll apply in between these two keyframes. Now, if we give it a play, you can see that we're tracking the head of the entity. The reason why it's tracking the head is because we uh, set the body part here to head, which is the default. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, another Cool tip is that if you're working up close, uh, you probably want to get rid of the name tag. Uh, you can do that pretty easily by right clicking the entity and then turning off render name tag. Um, and yeah, this is a basic tracking shot. Now, uh, to begin with, I'm going to take a look at the different body types or, or body parts. So there's head, there's body, and there's root. So let's look at body first. And body will track the body of the entity. So like this, you can see it's rotating with the body. You see the head here is uh, is looking a slightly different direction, but you can see um, we're aligned with the legs and the arms. Then finally, there's the root body part, uh, which has no rotation and just tracks the base of the entity like this. Uh, the root is useful if you want to do like a far distance tracking shot. We we don't want the uh, camera to be rotating with the entity, right? You just want to be moving with the entity. So let's go ahead and create one of those shots now. So first thing, to change the distance the camera is, you need to change this number here, the uh, third Z for view offset. Uh, I'm gonna get into what the other two numbers do in a bit, but for now, let's just create um, our far distance tracking shot. We'll set the uh, Z distance here to 20, set this to 20 here. Uh, now, the way the angles work is that it matches the angle that you see in F3. So Let's say we want a uh, uh, far distance tracking shot that's looking down. Well, let's use a pitch of 45 degrees to be able to do that. And all we need to do is go to the pitch offset here, put in 45 degrees. And see, we're now getting this far distance tracking shot. And if we open up F3, we can see indeed we are looking at that angle of 45 degrees. Now, like most keyframes in Flashback, um, this here is animatable. Uh, now, the entity UID and the body part aren't animatable for A, for technical reasons, B, because it would lead to a lot of jank, uh, but all these other numbers are animatable. So let's do a bit of an animation for the yaw here. So let's put in 45 degrees. And what you'll see is the camera will slowly rotate from zero to 45 degrees here like so. Um, let's also change the uh, distance here. So let's change the view offset here to end up at a distance of, um, let's make it really close. Let's make it like 0 0.1, right? So we're gonna start really, really far away here. Then it's slowly gonna zoom in uh, to the head. Uh, well, it actually zooms into the feet because the, um, <laughs> the offset is uh, set to zero. So uh, yeah. Obviously with root, it's targeting the root of the entity, which is down here. However, we can actually target a different part of the body even without using the body part. That's by using the position offset here. So let's set the position offset to uh, 1.65 here, which I think is roughly the eye height, uh, 1.65. Uh, and then what you'll see is we are now zooming into the actual head, like so. Uh, now we can also offset on the, on the X here. So we do like an X position offset um, you'll see that we end up five blocks um, in the positive x direction here. Uh, however, that's not that useful, so let's just set that to zero here. Set that to zero. And yeah, here is our nice shot. We zoom in on the player's head. Very cool. Um, now I'm gonna show you another really, really cool uh, shot type you can make using this view offset thing. So for the view offset, we've mainly used zero and zero for these two values, but 
um, these values are actually incredibly, incredibly powerful. So let's switch this back to head here and let's sit, switch the offset to zero, um, position offset to zero, set the view offset to three here. Um, and as we can see with this normal keyframe, we are looking behind the entity, right? But what if we wanted an, uh, a cool over the shoulder shot? Well, let's go ahead here and let's bring the view offset in. So let's do like a view offset of, of one, right? So we're gonna get up really, really nice and close to the entity like this. And now let's use um, an X offset for the view here. So let's do 0 0.5. And the difference between position offset is basically position offset gets applied before the rotation, right? So position offset is essentially offsets it in, in world coordinates, right? X, Y, Z, world coordinates up, plus X, plus Z, whatever, right? Whereas the view offset here offsets it in um, like, view space so it actually gets rotated so what that looks like is if the head is if the head is rotated here this becomes the x this is the y and then um, poking out of the behind the head here is the z right so uh, if we go ahead and add this 0 0.5 view offset here do 0 0.5 here as well what we'll see is the camera gets offset to the right of the head and we can get this really really cool over the shoulder shot like this. Of course, if we want it on the other side, we can use a negative value for the view offset. Uh, and of course it can be animated as well. So let's just see that. So here it starts off on the left side and it will, uh, the view offset will be animated to be on the right side. Like so. Uh, we can also use the Y view offset. This will basically just up, offset it upwards based on, on where we're looking. Um, so if we do this, you can see when we look down, the camera moves uh, more flat. You can see it's all relative to the head, right? Uh, so that is the that is the view offset, uh, the position offset. Um, now, another cool thing you can do that I'll show off is let's set this view offset back to zero here, is that let's say we don't want the camera facing right behind the play. Let's say we want it to be on the side. Well, we can do that. Uh, if we set the your offset here to 90, it's going to take the your of the head and it's going to add 90 to it. And so what that'll look like is something like this. So we can see our shot is now from the side of the head. And zoom out a bit here. And this is the, the shot that you get. Uh, what if you want it to be facing the player from the front? Well, you can do that as well. Just put in a your offset of 180 degrees. And our shot is from the front. Of course, we can combine these techniques. We can also add an additional view offset here. Let's do view offset of uh, 0 0.5. And so it's offset slightly to the side while looking at the front. Uh, so yeah, a lot of options here, but uh, it is also extremely powerful. Um, and, you know, I encourage you to try out, um, you know, your own combination of offsets and parameters. Um, you know, experiment around, and I'm sure you'll be able to create some very, very cool shots. Uh, for now, that's it from me. That is the track entity keyframe. Hope you found this interesting. Hope you found it useful. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.